Before taking over as the host of America's Funniest Home Videos, he was a child star that we all loved who grew up to play TV's preppy Carlton Banks in the hit sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and he's still making us laugh today. Alfonso Ribeiro joins us live. Hey, Alfonso. Hey, guys. How are you? We're doing well now that you're here. So you starred, <laughs> I just learned this today, and it blew my mind. Okay, so we all know that you starred in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You just learned that? But no, <laughs> wait for it, Albert. Wait, I used to watch Fresh Prince of Bel-Air like none other. But here's what I did not know. I had no idea that you had to choose between that show or Will Smith's future wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, on a di Jada Pinkett Smith show on A Different World. Why did you end up choosing the role of Carlton Banks? And did you ever talk to both Will and Jada about that decision? Oh, well, I mean, no. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, let's just say in hindsight, it was a very clear win. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was an opportunity. I had done, I had done um, a guest spot on A Different World, a character that was going to come back the next season uh, with Jada. Jada was going to come back, and I was coming back. And um, I had the opportunity to audition for The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and I just felt like starting something new, starting something that was uh, off the ground, that was going to be a lot more fun. The role had a lot more juice and was, you know, three-dimensional, and I felt like I could do more with it. So I chose to to go with that one instead of uh, doing a different world. I, think it worked out. <laughs> think so. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that juice and three-dimensionality. Yeah, dimensionality. Yes. Yes. Lord, That's a good word. yes, yes. Sorry. I don't think anybody's ever said I was that like, word. I'll so. just make that up and stumble all over it. My bad. Uh, because <laughs> you guys really had the opportunity to tackle some um, issues that we're still speaking about this day. And you know, in his shocking mm -hmm. new memoir, Mills, oh, Mill Swift, Lord have Is mercy. Is he getting you tongue? I, oh, you know yeah, what? Alfonso. Honestly, Alfonso, <laughs> Alfonso. I, I'm going to be very she, honest. She's feeling a little something, something. You feeling a something, something, girl? You feeling something, something, Alfonso, I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie. I am getting tongue tied. Yeah. You were like one of my crushes growing up. Oh, and I swear to you. It comes out. I, I swear hey, to really, you. you know, this happens to I me. I can tell. I can tell she was feeling a little something, something. I tell. I do. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait a second, Alfonso, Erica never gets tongue tied. She's never done it. So I'm just going to savor this moment because I always get tongue tied at Erica. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Gotcha. I'm yeah, so and, sorry. And, and, I can, and I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. This also <laughs> happened to me when I met Zach Morris. So, um. <laughs> Okay, all right. All right. All right. No so, different. No, no different. <laughs> so, Will Smith says he remembers the moment that Fresh Prince jumped the shark. It was during season five, right. episode 15, when your character, Carlton, decided to carry a gun. So, do you feel the same way Will does about this episode? You know, when I read that, I was like, what that dude talking about? He don't know nothing about jumping the shark. He, 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 he making it up as he goes. Um, the, the reality is, was that Will's career was jumping off. There was no question that he was going to become a movie star. And, you know, at the end of that season, which is the part that he is saying is true, he did come to all of us and say, listen, this is my last season doing the show. I'm going to leave, but I'm going to give you guys one more season so that you guys can figure out what you want to do after that. But... You know, I felt like this show could continue to go on. And I do know that for him, and he'd always said this, that he felt like we started to regurgitate storylines, that we were just coming up with new ways to say kind of the same thing. And I understood that. Shows continue to do that, and shows always find new ways. But that is kind of what life is like. Things don't just happen to a person one time in their life. Sometimes it happens over and over again in many different ways. And that's kind of what true life is all about. So I didn't really have a problem with that, but I understood that his movie career was going to jump off. And he'd already done Independence Day and Bad Boys running around Miami with no shirt on. How was he going to be the corny, big-eared guy that was, you know, being, being silly? <laughs> That makes that, sense. Yeah, that that does, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you. Thank you. Keep All going, right. Jeff. Alfonso, <laughs> America's Funniest Home Videos is one of the longest running primetime shows on TV. But my question is, why do you think people are still tuning in when they can just watch the Internet? Well, because family television no longer exists. We don't have a way to sit down and watch a show together. And, you know, ABC having it at seven o'clock on Sunday nights, it's that 
getting ready for the week and sitting down together and laughing together. You could be with grandma, you could be with the grandkids, you could be everyone in between and there's something for everyone. And look, yes, there's a way that you could go online and you could absolutely find funny videos, but you're never going to find them packaged the way we do it. And you're never going to find an entire hour's worth of great videos knowing that you're going to laugh the whole time for everybody. You go on an internet and you start searching right. for videos, yeah. you don't out. know where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. That's exactly. the best answer. So well said. Thank you so much for joining us, Alfonso. We're going to go ahead and get Erica. A Erica, you want to say, you yeah. say goodbye? Yeah. Put on some shots and give her a dark yeah. room. Yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bye, girl. America's <laughs> Funniest Home Video Sunday nights on ABC. Thank you, Alfonso. We'll be right back. That was amazing. <laughs> All right. Thanks, man.